When we shear, we shear the blanket fiber first. And so that's from the back of the neck to the tail and from the spine midway over the rib cage. This is your prime blanket fiber or first cut or textile fiber. Then we'll shear the neck fiber and hip fiber. It may have similar quality in its fineness and application, but it will be a shorter staple length. So it might be best suited for core yarn or rug yarn or other types of applications. And then the leg and belly fiber is the third area that we shear off. That's the hairier stuff, the material they live on. And so that normally goes to felted applications or other types of things. So this is blanket fiber. So this is one blanket from one animal. And what we would be looking for in this is, this is the sunshine side, and this is the cut side. And so if I pull a small sample out of here, we can take a look at the staple length. This is the sunshine side, this is the cut side. We can also take a look at the crimp style. Let's see if I can get you a little better example of that. This fleece has been handled a lot lately, so here we go. Okay. Now you can sort of see the crimp style that's in that. Crimp is a part of what holds the fiber together and creates its real strength. So in quality alpaca, what we're looking for, first of all, is fineness. And we can talk about micron and, and how fineness is, is judged. So, and then we're looking at staple length. We're also looking at uniformity through the blanket. We want fiber that is uniform so that all of this can be processed similarly. And then of course, we're looking at color and other various properties.